All right, guys, welcome back to watching Casio. Thanks for joining me again. If you remember a couple months ago, I did a mod to my AE1200 watch. I really love this watch. I added a couple of super bright green LEDs to the bottom, and I also added a green film over the dial. I cleaned up the case a little bit and added this stretchy single pass strap, and I really love the way this came out. It's kind of got that cool matrix look. So I was interested in doing some more mods. I have a couple more AE1200s hanging around that I thought I'd do something with. So I went over to Instagram and I searched for AE1200. And what do you know, I came across this profile called Cranio Design, which has some really interesting stuff on it. So this Instagram page, Cranio Design, is run by a guy named Jonas. And he's got some really cool stuff here on his page. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see that he's done a bunch of metalwork stuff. So for example, here's some, some cool metalwork with some inset diamonds. There's a chessboard that's designed by his eight-year-old son. He's done some uh, metal keychains. If we scroll up a little bit, you'll also see, oh, what do we have here? This looks like an AE1200 with a first generation bronze case. Huh, that is super cool. And if we keep on paging through his site, well, he's got another shot here. It looks like one of the first design passes of a stainless steel case for the AE1200. And if we scroll up a little bit further, here it looks like he's refining the design for the case that he's going to build out. And then he's got another shot here of the case, making sure that the dimensions are correct. So he really documents his whole build process. Here's some test fitting of the module. Uh, there is another bronze case and he's working out uh, some of the back plate. Uh, I think originally he was gonna design his own case back for the watch, but he decided to integrate the original case back into his design. And here is a shot of him drilling some tiny holes into the lugs. And then he's got a shot of the first batch of the bronze cases that went out. So, I mean, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. There's a shot of a cool flower he did for Mother's Day made out of metal. So this guy, Jonas, really takes a lot of pride in his work. Uh, he loves what he does. And I just came across his page and I saw this shot right here of some stainless steel Casio Royale cases. And I could not resist. I had to pick one up. I've been dying to get my hands on a stainless steel case for this watch. And he finally did it. So I'll be leaving a link in the description down below to his Instagram profile, so definitely go check it out. I'd really appreciate it. So I decided to purchase one, and at the time of purchase, they were $150 for the stainless steel case and $175 for the entire watch. And just a couple days ago, this box arrived in the mail. And what do we have here but a stainless steel case? It's got a mineral crystal embedded in there already but I'm responsible for the module and the pushers. So let's check this thing out. So here is the AE1200 case. And as I mentioned, it comes with a crystal uh, embedded right on top, but just get a look at the quality of this thing. This is absolutely beautiful. There you can see the holes where the pushers go. You can see the holes drilled out for the, the pins and the lugs. And he included four screws, which is great. And inside the case there, you can see the tiny holes where the button pushers go. It's going to be a little challenge to get those in there. But just check out the fit and finish of this case. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. I think he did a fantastic job on this. It's, it's really, really nice looking. So when you hold this case in your hand, you can tell that there's a fine brushed texture so it feels really nice when you hold it in your hand all the corners and edges are nicely made there's no burrs or anything sticking out anywhere it's just the level of craftsmanship is just really excellent just the amount of detail that went into creating this is just unexpected So let's just give this a little comparison. So here is the original AE1200 case. I actually took some lettering off the top and bottom. 
But just look at these two together. I mean, he just did such a nice job. He replicated the case very nicely. If we put them side by side, you can see that the parts around the pushers are more square, which I actually really like. The or original one is more rounded. And of course it has that line there where they sandwiched two pieces of resin together. Here's a shot of the lugs from the old case and the new case. So they look pretty similar as well. There might be a little slight change to the angle, although it's kind of hard to discern. But if you stack them on top of each other, you know, everything lines up really well. Just really impressive what he did. So there you can see there is a carved out portion of the case where the black o-ring goes to prevent water ingress. But yeah, side by side, I'm just amazed at the level of quality of this case. It's really awesome. So with regards to my donor watch, I have the original module right here, which is unmodified in any way. And I've also got the dial or faceplate, which I've cleaned up. I took some words off the top and bottom. So I've been using this on my AE1200, but I'm going to bring it over to this new stainless steel case. And here I brought out my macro lens so I can show you the inside of the pushers. So I do need to bring these buttons over to the new case. And as you can see there, there is a very small C-shaped ring that is holding the button in place. So I'm going to have to do my best to slide that off or pry it off just to remove it so I can get the, the pusher out along with a small spring. So you won't have to do this if you buy the full watch, but I wanted to go ahead and try it on my own. I also wanted to use my macro lens here just to show you the finish of the final case. Show you some of the edges, the absolutely perfect drill holes for the pushers. Those look fantastic. Like I said, I really like the squared off version of the pushers on this on this case, it looks really nice. There are the small holes there. And of course we've got four screws that came with the case. So we'll obviously take those off before we put the back plate on, but it's really nice of him to include those. So yeah, overall, I'm really having a hard time finding any flaws with this case so far. It's, it's quite perfect. Gotta be careful not to drop this one. This is definitely a gem. All right, so let's get in there with a really fine, tiny flathead screwdriver and try to pry off or slide off that little C-ring. So it actually came off relatively easily. It took me a couple tries, but there it is down on my table. And then you can pull out the pusher itself. Just be careful. There is a tiny metal O-ring and a spring attached to that. And then there are two black rubber rings on the inside, so you really have to get in there to get those out. And here are the pusher pieces up close. You have the C-ring, the two rubber gaskets, a metal O-ring, and then the metal pusher with a very light spring wrapped around it. So I'll go ahead and try my best to get this pusher in there. I think it probably looks a little more complicated than it actually is and my eyesight is not great either but I'll use a pair of tweezers just to gently drop in those two black o-rings and then once those are in I'll try to grab that tiny metal o-ring and drop that inside as well And finally, let's grab that pusher and drop it into the tiny hole right here. I 
and if all goes well you should be able to slightly push down on that pusher and have it spring right back on you so there's a shot of the pusher and then last but not least this is kind of the toughest part is getting a handle of this tiny little c-ring uh, you do have to push the button in just a little bit so you can get into the groove on the pin and then just very carefully slide that c-ring into place and after a few tries I finally got that in there I actually put a piece of cellophane on the inside of the crystal too so I don't scratch it but here you go there's pusher number one is inside the case I'm gonna go ahead and do the three other pushers right now alright so I've got all four pushers in there and I'm pretty sure I did that correctly I guess time will tell but they all spring back nicely and they're all stable in there so I think it is now time for the moment of truth let's get the dial in there and get the module in there as well all right so let's first drop in the dial I have uh, this one cleaned up a little bit like I said I took off some text so let's drop that one in it definitely is a snug fit so I use the back end of a screwdriver here just kinda tap that lightly into place to make sure it's secure alright so let's give the module a quick wipe down and then try to fit this in this is always the tough part I've found on the AE1200 where you kinda have to fit this thing into the case and it's no exception on this one either but just go slowly make sure you don't bend anything and just try to fit that module in there it actually fit in there pretty nicely uh, one thing you do have to note on these AE1200 modules is that there's some little metal tabs that need to go in front of the button pusher so sometimes those can get caught so just use a little screwdriver make sure those things are pulled out of the way before you pop it in so let's go ahead and grab the black o-ring from the donor watch fit that nicely into the grooves right where it belongs everything lines up really well so far and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the case back from my donor watch and I'll pop that right on and wow you can just feel that it sits in there and fits perfectly there's no wiggle room it's a very satisfying feel but real quick let's take a final look at this case so you got the stainless steel case the module is embedded in there we've got the pushers in and we have the black rubber o-ring as well and then when you pop on this case back it's just very satisfying it fits really well so let's go ahead and put the four screws on and finish up this build all right so the screws went in really easily I got the last screw in place give that a quick wipe and man here you go this is the new stainless steel case and wow this is really impressive I I'm a little speechless right now this feels really great I've been hoping someone would come out with a stainless steel case for this watch and uh, Jonas over at Cranio Design really came through I mean just take a look at this I don't know in, in person it's just absolutely beautiful it looks great I wasn't sure what to expect from this but I'm so glad I picked this up just to feel in the hands and just to look at the craftsmanship and quality it's it's really a work of art it's awesome I hope he comes out with some other stainless steel cases if you have any suggestions on that definitely leave it in the comments below I'm sure he'll be checking it out and reading the comments so feel free to tell him anything you want but yeah here's the final final product and everything is working and looks great so finally here is the finished piece I put on the original AE1200 stainless steel bracelet fitted around my wrist and attached it to the stainless steel case and man I am psyched this this is great this looks fabulous I'm just so impressed with the quality like I said I wasn't exactly sure what I was gonna get but man I do not regret it is it worth hundred and fifty dollars hell yeah it is absolutely and it really wasn't hard to set up at all so um, 
If you follow my instructions, you can probably get those pushers in there pretty easily. So if you're looking to upgrade your AE1200, this is definitely the way to go. So let's get a nice wrist shot of this new Casio Royale AE1200 with a stainless steel case. I've got a 6.75 inch wrist and I'm using the original bracelet. And man, that looks great. Super impressed with this. I love it. I highly recommend it. Leave some comments down below. Tell me what you think. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and definitely subscribe. Hopefully I'll be doing some more videos in the future. Uh, and definitely leave some comments down below. I know he's going to be checking out the comments. So if you have any suggestions, if you've been dying for a stainless steel case for one of your Casio watches, definitely leave a note below. You never know what you're going to get. Thanks again for sticking around. I appreciate it. We'll catch you soon here watching Casio. Take care now.